Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. As always, thank you for supporting these videos. Uh, it means an awful lot to me that you actually take the time to not only support these videos but to actually sit down and watch them. So thank you for that. So today's video is number three in the resin and mixed media series. And today we're going to be looking at this little piece. Now this piece is, um, it's a very, very simple piece. Now what I've done here is I've actually used multi-purpose filler to create the texture around here. So rather than making my own mold, uh, texture paste this time, I've actually just used straight out of the tub some multi-purpose um, filler. I actually bought it to fill some holes in my walls, so um, it definitely is definitely does have a multi-purpose function. And then what I've done is I've just created a, a little river here and just run some resin through the centre. So like I say, it's quite a, a quick and simple texture one that you'll very quickly be able to adapt to create your own pieces. So without further ado, let's get on with the video and find out how we go about creating this piece. So let's get started. I bought this ooh, a good while ago and I'm not entirely sure how much I paid for it but I'm pretty sure it was less than $20. I did have a quick look on Bunnings website to see how much multi-purpose filler costs and it is less than $20. So any multi-purpose filler, wall filler will do the trick for this. And you will need um, some spatulas um, and or fingers or whatever to spread this about so for this I just I wanted to create a river in the center so I just apply it liberally uh, where I want it to go and then using the spatula I just use the edge to create the texture and the grooves of where I want this to flow now you could actually build it up several layers if you wanted to create rock formations I'm not sure how Thick it would go before it started cracking. Um, I'm assuming it wouldn't, but I didn't go that far. So, um, but this is quite quite a thick layer I've got in here, and when it um, dries, it doesn't crack. So this this is pretty good. Unlike the texture paste that I made the other day, that actually did crack, and I used that to my advantage in the design. So you can go with the flow if you get some cracks happening in your piece. And once you have your desired design and shape, I left this for um, a good 24 hours, but it was actually dry a lot quicker than than that. So, but I left it just to make sure that the underside, the underneath layers were completely dry before moving on to the next next step. And once dry, I did paint it silver. Now I didn't film that because I thought you don't need to see me painting some silver because you know. I'm pretty sure you know what that looks like. So we're here, now that it's painted silver, what I've done is I've just mixed a very, very small amount of resin because what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put the resin on, uh, black resin I should say, and then take it straight off again because at this part, all I'm trying to do is give the silver an aged look. So I'm just using whatever tools I can get my hands on to help move it into the grooves uh, and the cracks. And so I found that little um, brush uh, silicone brush tool helped to push the resin down into the cracks and then I'm going to use a baby wipe to wipe off the excess because like I said I didn't want to use a lot of resin like I did last time because it was just such a waste so there's a bit more effort involved in covering it but you get a, a nice silver antique look so that's uh, worked out quite nice So what I'm doing here is I'm also putting it on the sides, just making sure and, and down the centre, just so that the whole thing blends. Because if you did get any show through on the resin, I wanted it to still show through some of the silver, um, but to have a similar look so that the, the bit in the middle was not too bright, so that's why I wiped that on there. But like I say, I'm wiping the majority of it back off, so it's um, it's all got the same look. 
and as you can see that's actually created quite ni a nice look with the texture with the uh, the black in there so what I've done here is I've just mixed some uh, a small amount of resin and just colored it with the pigments now I'm gonna put the the list of the colors are used in the description as usual so you can have a look and see which ones I've used for this and uh, you know it's, it, there's not much to it it's just basically just putting the resin in making sure that it goes right up to the edge of the texture uh, just using a stick to move that around but I'm, I'm also being conscious of moving the resin in the direction of the flow and also covering the sides so that the resin runs off so you get like a continual look on the sides and just using a stick again to just give that movement get that movement happening now, I did actually try and spray spritz it with a bit of mineral turpentine but my spray bottles no longer working so I ended up pouring a little bit of it into each of the colors and using that to um, just help create move it, movement and because it's it's like alcohol based it does create nice and interesting effects I actually put a little bit more of the mineral turpentine into what was left in the resin cups and as you can see it's actually pushing the resin out and creating some nice interesting areas so it's given that um, nice flow feel as if it is a river that's running through the canyon or wherever you want to call it So that's it basically there's not much to this video at all um, we've created a nice river effect running through the texture which um, as you can see it's quite effective and if you color the texture area in gold and do the same treatment and make it like an antique gold it'll give it like a sand color so that would work well if you were doing creating a beach scene there's something along them them lines so you can experiment with using different a, a different color base to create your texture and see what you come up with well i hope you enjoyed this video and that you're enjoying this mixed media and resin series i'm currently working on another piece which will be released very 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 soon so until next time um i'll see you all again soon thank you goodbye